we've looked at questions like this before, where you've got this quantity over here, this quantity over here, where you've got two quantities that are different, but you're comparing them. We call this a rate. We've seen this before, but when we had to deal with these questions, and one of the ones we looked at um, was a currency conversion, that was very, very confusing. And part of it's because it's just icky to try and get from this quantity, which relates a particular cost to a particular number of kilos, to some different amount. Now, the unitary method is just one particular approach that might help you with this. It's not required, but people find it very useful. It's really all about thinking about a single unit and working from there, trying to draw some conclusions. So as an example here, if we want to work out the cost of five kilos, there's kind of this intermediate question here that you can answer before you get to five kilos to help you understand eight kilos, which is, well, before you get to five, just think about one. Just think about one unit. So in order to get to there, you're gonna take this amount and you wanna think, right, this is a ratio. So if I say uh, eight kilos to uh, 1992, or rather write it as a rate because I've got different, different quantities here uh, measuring different things. If I want to work out one kilo, uh, I need to divide both sides by eight. This is just like we saw before. Because uh, these rates can be treated just like fractions, you can do everything that you do with uh, fractions with ratios, including dividing uh, the top, which is this first number, and the bottom, which is the second number, um, divide them both by eight. So when you have a go at this, you can see you're gonna get one kilo over here on the left. And if you reach for your calculator, uh, 1992, that's going to be divisible by 8. Let's just confirm that. And you get a price per kilo, which is what you're used to actually seeing when you're shopping, of course. So this is, you know, after the fact, you've, you've bought it and that's your total. And this is, you know, what it was actually charging you per kilo. So from there, you can see, having answered this, it's really easy to go to this final step here, which is, well, if I want not one kilo, but five, I'm going to multiply this one by five, which means I'm multiplying this one by five, okay? So just like <clears throat> with fractions, if you're doing an operation, you're doing it to both parts. So we've seen this before under conversions as well. So you're gonna get five kilos here, there you go. That was the way to get to this five kilo amount that we were looking for by adding in an extra step. Uh, sometimes going a longer path is easier. You didn't have to do that. You can see, see I've got two steps here. I could have done them both in one here. I could have divided by eight and multiplied by five simultaneously. But it's a little harder to see that and just adding an extra step of working makes it a teeny bit simpler. And when you have a little question like this, um, you can still use the unitary method to approach it. It's just that the units you're dealing with are percentage points. So what you're gonna say is in exactly the same way as we set up before, you've got 15% of a deposit on like a house or something like that. And that's $84,000, which is you know, actually not too bad price for a house. So if this is 15% and I wanna work out the total cost, what I'm after is 100%. Right? That's really what I'm asking. So again, the intermediate question is, well, what's 1% and then I can get to 100 from there. So 15% is $84,000, right? Uh, just like before, I wanna to get to a single unit. So I'm going to divide both of these quantities by 15. That'll leave me with 1% over here per, let's just do the division. And you get this quantity, that's your 1% because you divided everything through by 15. And just like before, I want to go from that to this next step, which I've identified as 100%. So I'll multiply this one by 100, multiply this one by 100, and then you get a pretty simple calculation. Uh, you're going to add two zeros onto that. So you're getting 560,000. That's your total cost. So just to review, putting the 1% or the one kilo or whatever it is, putting that in as an extra step, not required. You could just do it all in one hit. But if looking at the, this question at the beginning and then looking at that makes you think, I'm not really sure where to start, simplify the question first, right? Add this extra step in and then it makes it kind of easier as a stepping stone to get to your final answer.